Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 10th. Monday the 10th. Let's just see what comes up for Monday the 10th. June 10th. What do we got for June 10th? Ying and yang. Ying and yang. Mm, this is the perfect match, right? It is. Opposites attract. The missing piece. Right? I mean, that's what this is. Two, two. This is a divine partnership. So it's about partnership on the 10th. It's about that missing piece coming together to make a whole. This deck is very loud, so bear with me. And keep in mind with the daily vibes, these, these are not signed specific, and the timing is fluid. Okay? That means whoever this resonates with, it resonates with. chariot. Ooh, traveling. This is travel. This is moving to a new destination, moving very quickly. This is, this is uh, moving very quickly. Fast forward. Heading in the right direction. This is um, opposites attract. So we do got opposites attracting here as well. That's traveling. That's, that's Something happening very, very quickly. <laughs> Strength. There is going to be a strong attraction. This is a card of attraction. It's like va va voom attraction. Okay. Um. <laughs> These are both cards of mastering emotions as well. So somebody's going to be mastering their emotions. There's going to be a lot of confidence. High confidence day. Ooh, well, the lovers, amazing, yikes. This is the perfect match. This is the perfect match, whatever this is. This person is not your usual type. And that's what this card says, but these cards say it too. So, there's going to be an attraction with somebody that you would never expect to be attracted to. This is probably going to come out of the blue. Wow. Wow. You may not be able to, I mean, you think, I mean, look at the card. You may not be able to resist it. Irresistible. Princess of Cups. Reversed. Need to have fun. A need to be more playful. A need to have a little fun. You may have to set some boundaries. You know, you don't, you know, you're going to have to master your emotions. You may have to set some, some boundaries here. The sun reversed. This could lead to happiness, but you may need to... Uh, tone it down. You may need to tone it down a little bit. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Leo. We have Leo here. We have Leo here. We have Cancer here. We have Gemini here. We have Taurus. Oh, not Taurus. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Um, I have to get another card to go with that one. Just 
two of pentacles reversed. Six of pentacles, equal. This is equal give and take. This is receiving something. Somebody is going to be receiving something. A gift, perhaps. Upheaval. This is upheaval. This is imbalance. This is uh, needing to adapt, needing to be flexible. Somebody may need to be flexible. I think that something is going to happen fast, and it may be, may knock you, may knock you for a, you know, loop, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. May turn your life right upside down. You might be shooken by it. Okay. Seven of Cups. You have options here. This is a card of options. You know, this is a card of consequences. And this is a card of consequences. And they're right together. So we got some consequences based on the decision, decision, the choice that you make. This is a choice. Now we got somebody that is being presented with a choice. What are you, what are you going to do? Because there's options here. So I think somebody's arriving. This is an arrival. This is somebody traveling to a new destination. There's they like they arrive. There's like this irresistible connection and now you got to make a choice and there's consequences based on the choices that you make. And somebody has made some poor decisions in the past. They may be fearful, a little bit fearful, but this is replacing that fear with faith. Somebody is really, oh boy, the emperor reversed. It's going to be out of control. It is going to be out of control. Something is like going to be out of control. Um, could be dealing with an Aries as well. Um, Prince of Cups reversed. Be careful. Be careful. You're not wearing rose colored glasses. Somebody may be coming in to sweep you right off your feet. Yep, 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 yep. It's going to be an un uncontrollable attraction of some sort on this day. Um, <laughs> interesting. But you may be, you got to be careful. Be really careful because this person may seem like they're the perfect match. But maybe they're not. Because the card did come out reversed. Right? I mean, it did. It may look, it may feel really good. It may, the attention, somebody's going to get some attention. And it may look completely different than whoever you're dealing with. But there's some sort of pull. There's some sort of pull towards this person. And it may or may not be your perfect match. But you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to choose wisely. Because there will be consequences for your decision. This is a card. Both of these cards are cards of consequences. Princess of Pentacles. This is an opportunity to go down a new path. Somebody is being presented with a new prospect. There's a new prospect here. Be careful you don't get distracted. You could get easily distracted by beauty. Okay? Five of Cups. This is a new prospect. Five of Cups reversed. Just what I said. Somebody has a new love prospect that is coming into their life. I think it's going to arrive out of the blue. Out of the blue. You could, I hate to say these words, but I'm going to because I wanted to say it multiple times. You could meet this person on travel. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Um...
judgment. Judgment. You may not be aware. You may not be aware of what you're seeing. Okay? Seven of Pentacles. Ugh. This is something you've been waiting for. It's it's time. This is this is something you've been waiting for. It's time. It's, you know, it's harvest time. Maybe you manifested this. Whether this is your perfect match or not, you're going to have to, you know, look beyond the surface. You may have to be flexible. You're definitely going to have to choose wisely. Oh my God. Seven of Swords, this is this is a card of deception. This is the cheating card. Be careful. Whenever you, be really careful. You could be dealing with a sneaky, shady individual. You know, that that may the attraction may be very, very strong. But this person may be a dishonest individual who is quite literally emotionally unavailable. With the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups reversed, this person may come in and, and sell you the Golden Gate Bridge that they do not own. With the finest of everything, you know? They're lovey-dovey, kissy-huggy, the whole nine yards, and they're full of shit. So, seriously. It could grow into nothing with this Sun card. Don't deceive yourself. The Empress reverse. Woo! Yeah. Know your value. Know your value. Know your worth. Because whoever, I think, I mean, the Emperor reverse, the Emperor and the Empress reversed. We have a very, and it is about beauty. It is. I could see that it was. Somebody is going to see another person's beauty. And there's and they're gonna go on that, and you know, it probably won't lead to anything. I'm just being honest with you. It would probably be a poor decision to invest and give to a situation based on sexual attraction. I mean, because that's what it looks like to me. They may present themselves to be the perfect match, but in reality, they will leave you hanging. They will leave you behind. Be careful. Be really careful. We got somebody here that is coming in to sweep somebody off their feet. And drop them like a hot potato. And that's what I see. And I'm sorry to bring you this message. <laughs> but. You don't. It's, it's, it's not. You know. You need, to, you need to be realistic here. This is a devil reversed. Don't let yourself get involved in any unhealthy, toxic situations. You know, this is release, and then the devil reverses release as well. This is a, this is release. This is a change. Change your direction. Let let that go. Let it go. Let it go. And I know that a lot of people don't want to hear that, right? They don't want to let it go. But something needs to be let go because there's something better. There is something better. There is. There's this some things that don't work out because there's something better.
you know, this could go another way. This just came to me. There, 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 there could be somebody that is, is moving, somebody that is breaking up. I mean, with this emperor and empress, this is an end. This is the death of something. <coughs> We could have a relationship. This Emperor and Empress reverse that's breaking up because somebody cheated. This is cheating. Somebody, you know, succumbed to that lust. They made the wrong decision. Acted impulsively. Went down that new path. The attraction was so big, they went down that new path and... Now it's judgment day. Now it's time to relocate. I gotta go someplace else because somebody didn't know my worth and they didn't see my value. Whatever. You know, I feel as though there is there's definitely somebody headed in a new direction. Definitely. And then like there's if you think about these daily vibes, what? Twelve to fifteen thousand people watch these, so everybody's circumstance is gonna be different. So we could keep going on this one daily vibe for hours and we could talk about different people in different circumstances. Somebody has made a poor decision and made a wrong choice, involved another person, cheated, whatever, and now we got somebody that's... See ya. There's consequences. There is, there's a loss of a partnership here. If you look at it that way. If you flip it over, it could go either way, like I said. If you flip it over, there's a, there's a new partnership coming into focus here. Somebody could be relocating and spontaneously meet their perfect match after being cheated after being undervalued after somebody didn't see their worth i mean we could keep going all day long with this just these cards right here either way we got it we got a new beginning here something is ending and something new is beginning because that's what this is this is a change a major change Death is the end of one thing and the beginning of something new. When something dies, it's over. You have no place else to go. You, 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 you know, have to start over. So, something is ending. And something new is beginning. This is transformation and this is transformation. We have a transformation here. And we have some sort of union and it, it's, it's it's a strong one here like this is this is the this is really really meant to be so we have a union that is coming together that is absolutely meant to be but somebody may have misjudged or they or they they didn't act honestly with the seven of swords and the judgment reverse somebody was being dishonest and they weren't whatever something happened somebody didn't do the right thing or whatever somebody didn't do the right thing and the judgment reversed is karma and that's bad karma so somebody may have received some sort of karma could be in the form of a loss of some sort. This is death is a loss. Anyway. Looks to me as though somebody is headed in a new direction, down a new path, towards a new prospect, after being in a situation where there was some serious deception, there was lies, there was sneaky, shady behavior, somebody's headed in a new direction. And they're probably headed towards somebody that is better suited for them. 
after being in some sort of situation where it wasn't love. It wasn't real love, put it that way. But now something has come to fruition with the Seven of Pentacles. Something has come to fruition and it's time to relocate. This is relocate or it's time to make a move or it's time to pick or it's time to choose. It's harvest time. It's time. That's what this is. Somebody is shutting down their emotions for somebody. Okay. With the Page of Cups reversed and the Knight of Cups, it's like there's no more growth there. Time for me to relocate. It's time for me to plant my seeds someplace else. But this is something that has come to fruition after the seed. So something is happening that, you know, may have been manifesting for some time and now it's on the surface. Okay, it's time, whatever it was. It's time to deal with this situation, whatever it is. So yeah, that's what I got. I mean, I don't think I really need to go any further other than there's movement here and there's fast movement. This is that bee. It's buzzing. Buzz. That's what it is, too. It's going to be like buzzing. Things are going to be happening. So have a good day. Talk to you later.